Today, I want to talk to you about what's wrong with pirates. I want to put in the words everything I hate about pirates. I want this to be a viable, interesting archetype to play, but, but it's not. It's not. Number one, there is zero identity here. To me, it feels very obvious that it should be ships. Ships should be the best friend of pirates, and I need, I need payoff for that. High Cloak Hideaway actually has an okay stat line. If you, as long as you have three pirates in your hand and one unit on the field, it's at least netting you an eight for five. Eight for fives are still pretty okay in the game. The power creep is starting to kick in. Six here might be more appropriate these days. Or a four for four. Uh, I think that would also be really interesting. But ships and pirates should be hand in hand. So let's just go through what ships and pirates work together. We got the, we got the warship here that does work very nicely with it. And I'm gonna transmit it awkwardly mid video, which is a cool, cool synergy, cool synergy. And this card works really well with uh, Crash. I'm gonna call him Crash. And honestly, I lied. You know, I'm not calling him Crash. I'm calling him Craig. Every single person disagrees about this guy's name. So we're calling him Craig. Craig on Crate. Craig on Crate, you're welcome. This is really your fault. Yes, specifically you. So check this out. He wants you to give he wants to give armor to your units, your ships and your pirates, and you play them next to them and they fight the enemy's lowest unit. That's awesome. What a great design. Very interesting. Here's the problem. If he dies, very few things want armor here, right? Okay, Covenant of Steel, Steel maybe you can protect like an Arnegad combo, but Arnegad Sucrus combo isn't really pirates. When I think pirates, I think ships. They even have a gold ship. There aren't that many of them. And whenever you play a pirate, gain armor. So here we go. Here's some synergy. So we got we got something here, except Terror of the Seas on paper is a seven for seven, which sucks. And since you know the order is coming, it's really a seven for seven. You can actually yeet damage at this if you're afraid of the order and wanting to prevent the points. So it's basically a seven for seven of an order. Like to be blunt, a Bonnard student is probably better than this card, significantly better than this card, and that's a four for four. At least Bonnard students buff up alumni. I'm not even talking about provision cost. I'm talking about the fact that just because Bonnard students buff up alumni, they are probably a stronger and more powerful card than your deck. I'd rather have a 7 for 4 or 4.7 alumni than have that put this in my deck. Unbelievable. You have some more armor synergies. Boat builders. This is super cool. This is super cool. It gives armor to more of your stuff if it's out here. Well, I guess you can pump up Terror of the Seas. You, there is an engine where you let this get exposed and then keep putting armor on it for with like a Sob Blood Priest. But you start to notice like it's kind of mad. The payoff isn't there. And I think this is ultimately the big thing. CDPR kind of has the right idea, in my opinion. Ships, pirates, best friends. I want to be having ships that I loot. I want ships that I ride. I want the ability to feel like I'm doing crazy stuff. The Moon Smuggler is super cool. Playing it next to a ship, it gets a bonus. Awesome. It's as if you're boarding the ship. It would be also super sick if it was like only you could have a pirate board a ship. So if I play a pirate next to a ship, then that ship is considered boarded and gets an effect. That would be kind of cool. But there's no payoff for half of this stuff. And that's what I think is the problem is. You get this like armor synergy. Cry, or Craig, pardon me. Pr Craig on crate. Uh, into Terror of the Sea, you can buff up Covenant. Again, I think Covenant's like a bad example of a pirate. It's even a pirate warrior, for Pete's sake. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Uh, Craig can buff up Terror of the Seas. You can do uh, Boat Builders to synergize with Terror of the Seas. And then a Terror Crew. You have Dimoon Warship. You want to kill it, so Craig kind of works out. But besides that, there's really not much going on here. There's not much, and this is the problem with pirates. The Also, like the best pirates are often warriors, too. They had to change Morkvarg over to a pirate. But like Raiders is probably your best bronze in many cases. It's often a six for five that deals two. That's pretty sick. You're a seven for four. But they're also warriors, which is kind of pathetic. If if CDPR is listening to me, you've got to create a mechanic for pirates. They need they need a Northern Realms gutting um counters. They need that kind of an overhaul. You need to take like three of these cards and actually rework them into something interesting, in my opinion. Uh, Drum and Warmonger, make it a 3 for 5. When you play it next to a boat, you burn the boat by sacrificing it, and then you get to deal damage or boost self. Let's talk about boosting itself uh, based on the power plus provisions of the boat. Something ridiculous like that. That might be too far, but you get the idea. The idea is a theme where you sack your own ships. So, hey, I'm looting a ship. That seems super thematic. And then like I can loot the moon warships so I can get more pirates back. 
that's really cool do that or lean into this armor theme say you know warriors deal damage ships and armor you buff it up great i want some ships then like some iron clad ships i don't even know if they're in the lore but i know that in civil war in the united states they used to have iron clad ships and that seems really cool the idea of hey this ship if it has three armor gets a huge bonus so i'm gonna start boat building the best ship i can this might be more of a rant than i would like it to be and a shorter video than i would like it to be but like the payoffs, the closest you also have is Holger, but Holger doesn't really do anything. It's just like, oh, you play ships and pirates together. Yay, here's damage and boosting. But it doesn't do anything interesting besides that. It's a very simple one. So you're the closest you have to like a pirate thing. You're close. You're kind of flirting with it. You have zeal if you have a ship, which is pretty darn useless. <sighs> all in all, there needs to be card rework here in a significant way. I didn't even talk about doing Corsair. I don't know why ships give bleeding to a Corsair. It feels like they just poured it over, was it Necrorat? And here we are with the Min Corsair. Like, really, really a Necrorat? If we're not gonna, if pirates are not gonna be the damage oriented ones, then why are we having this? I mean, uh, pirates have nothing to do with bleeding, it's just there. And why, why is Ryo gonna pirate? Like, I get it fits in to the lore, but like, really? Really? It's like, CDPR, yo, 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 want to hook everybody up. Mom, if that's a bad angle shot, we'll just go for this one. Yo, uh, pirates need some love. What are we going to do? We're going to give them weather support. Are there any weather pirates? There are now. Okay, maybe being a bit harsh. I know it's lore related, but still, still. Yeah, it's just, it, it, this is one of the best pirates. It's also a warrior, so why would you not run warriors? Warriors even have a tutor. Just give some synergies here. I don't even need this to be competitive. Just give me something I can work with. Please, CDPR, I'm begging you. Make it so boat builders, built builders and a Tide Cloak hide away at least six fives. Let me at least work with something here. Make it so one of these, uh, make Terra the Sea a six six, which is probably what it belongs as. Like, you can even do stuff like that to get going. Heck, is this eight five of a downside? Ooh, if I can cancel the ability, if I control a ship, move a card, top card of your deck to the graveyard. Except a lot of Skellige likes cards and graveyards and on top of that it's not even that great of an 8-5 because Raging Bear and Bear Witcher are better than this <sighs> ultimately I'm not even sure if there's a point to this video other than I'm really angry about this because it feels like it's a mishmash of interesting ideas that are completely underdeveloped and I think one of these patches where no new cards are added to the game would be an excellent opportunity to quietly brush up a couple of these cards right Hey, you're not adding a new card. You already probably have a rough idea of how strong everything is. Just like try a rework of one card. Just try one. Do it. Make it so. Terror of the Seas is 6-6. Six, six, and uh, it has yield perfect. Like do that. And then what's an what's a actual rework we could do here? Uh, you, yeah. Talking about this. Let him sack ships. Let him come into play. Murder one of your ships that you don't like. And boost itself based on that ship. So I can at least go dim and warship. Drummond Warmonger, stack that ship, which would be super satisfying and thematic to pirates because they loot ships and get boosted from it because they got stole the treasure, makes them better. And then I can trigger my death wish. Like, let me have some fun with that stuff instead of this like slow, monotonous trying to kill this and hope and praying it doesn't get locked. <sighs> what do you guys think? Do you think I'm too sad about pirates? Is there something here or does CDPR actually need to do what I think they need to do, which is really. Uh, give like give be hardcore about a theme for pirates. What should they do? It should be ship related, in my opinion. They're doing the armor stuff, so do the armor stuff. And do you think they like what I believe need to rework a couple of these cards to like power up a couple others to make this really jive? Let me know down below. I love all of you. I'll see you all soon. Shout out to McRandar, pseudoname eighty one, and Ahmed Ali for all their unbelievably generous support on the Patreon.